Hey there! In this video, we are going to be looking at how to find the area and the perimeter of a triangle. Okay? Welcome to Rise Up Namobia. My name is Metiana aka the resistor of bad and the love of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore. Walk by faith and not by sight. So, on screen we have the topic of mensuration and an objective to find the perimeter of the following triangles. So I'd like you to pause the video and try finding the correct answer. Okay? So pause the video now. Okay. So finding the perimeter, we basically find the distance around a certain shape. Okay, now in this case, the shape is a, is a triangle, but basically we always just find the distance around the shape. That's what we mean by the perimeter. So how do we do this? We do this by adding up all the sides. So let's check in our first example here. We add up all the sides, which are 18 centimeters plus 11 plus 17. What does it give us? It gives us 46 centimeters. Okay? How about the second example? Now the second example is a little bit tricky but very easy. Notice that it only has two sides, which is the 9 meters and the 13 meters. But notice that there is two lines on this side as well as on this line. Now these two lines means that these sides are actually equal. So meaning this side is also 9 meters. So when we add the sides, we will say 9 plus this side, which is also a 9, plus the 13 below here, which will give us 31 meters. Okay? How about the third example? It's the same concept. You add all three sides, which is 3 plus 2 plus 6, which will give you 11 centimeters. Okay? And just like that, that's how you find the perimeter of a triangle. Now, if you found this video helpful so far, please do support the channel by giving us a huge thumbs up and subscribing with notifications on. We are on our road to 1000 subscribers and we can only reach that with your help. Okay, so back to the lesson. Now, how do we find the area of a triangle? So I'd like you to pause the video again. And try attempting to get the correct answer before we go through them. So, pause the video now. Okay, now when it comes to the area of a triangle... There is actually a certain formula that we use. Okay? Now this formula is half breadth times height. Or base times height. Okay? So it's half base times height. Now when you use this formula, it makes it easier to get the area of a triangle. Okay? So let's attempt the first example. So we bring out our formula, which is half base times height. So, and then you just substitute. What is the base? The base is 6. So, you say half 6 multiplied by, what is the height? The height is 5. So, you substitute your 5 inside there. And then you type it into your calculator. What answer do you get? You get a 15 meter squared. Why is it meter squared? Remember, area is always like squared, okay? So, it, because it's area, we say meter squared. And that's your final answer for the first example. So, we move on to the second example. So, how do you find this one? So, we bring out our formula again, which is half base times height. And then you just substitute your figures. What is your base? Your base is 9. 
multiplied by what is your height your height here is 4 so the answer will be if you type it into your calculator 18 meter 18 centimeters squared okay so that's your final answer for the second example to be 18 centimeter squared how about for the third example here the concept is the same always just bring out your formula so you should learn the formula by heart hmm? which is very easy because it's just half base times height now some people will wonder how do you calculate the area of this triangle you just use the same concept the thing is just that this triangle is like uh, it's a bit upside down okay so treat the six on top here let me say the horizontal line treat it as your base and the vertical line treat it as your height okay so let's do just that so which one is our base we said we are going to use the horizontal one so it's the six so our base is the six multiplied by what is our height our height is the vertical one which is eight okay so if it's eight centimeter and then if we type it into our calculator what answer do we get we get 24 meter squared okay so 24 meters squared is our final answer for the area of this shape and just like that that's how we find the area of a triangle okay now some people if you are still getting confused look if i drew this line in this triangle because this one is like a bit upside down notice that these two lines are equal isn't it the same goes for these two lines they are also equal now if it's like this it means it's no more upside down so now i believe you understand why i say you can use this horizontal line as your base and the vertical line as your what as your height because think about this black triangle over here now this black triangle the base is now below which is the six centimeter and then the height is where it's supposed to be like on the other normal triangles now that aren't upside down so basically i just drew this to point it out to say even if it's upside down you know the examiners can put it there to look upside down but don't get confused just use the same concept which is using the what the formula okay so thank you very much for watching this video please do like subscribe turn on the notification button to be the first to see the next upload share with friends family and classmates and remember together we rise to higher heights apart we all stay behind cheers